Washington is just the beginning for anti-abortion forces. With the new administration vowing to reverse Roe versus Wade, local pro-lifers are encouraged about the future, but Planned Parenthood promises to fight back. Carity on News Channel 13's Katie Spencer is live outside the Planned Parenthood in Colorado Springs. And Katie, a Colorado's political director for Planned Parenthood, is trying to emphasize the importance of women's health care. Yeah, Heather, she fears that defunding these facilities will cause a national health care crisis, but pro-life advocates are hoping this administration finally abolishes abortion. Joseph Martone stands out here every week sharing his pro-life message. I'm out here trying to make a difference, trying to stop people from uh, having abortions and from harming themselves. And because of the promises President Trump is making regarding funding for Planned Parenthood and abortions, Martone says he thinks he will see more people taking notice of his message. Especially this year with uh, the new president and someone who's pro-life and that these people are, are actively praying and marching and, and trying to make a difference. But on the flip side, Planned Parenthood in Colorado is seeing an increase of people through their doors. Um, yeah, folks are, are concerned and they want to make sure that they have what they need um, to take care of their own reproductive health and future. Abortion isn't the only question in the air for Planned Parenthood. It's family planning and birth control funding for women as well. When folks need their women wellness exams, when they need cancer screenings, um, when they need access to um, their birth control and counseling about their birth control options. As the future of women's health care, the debate between opposing side continues. And the more I've done it, the more I've learned and, um, and how much I can make a difference, that life is precious. Really letting folks know how important we are to um, public health in Colorado, how important we are to people who need access to health care. Tried to get a hold of somebody from Focus on the Family, but haven't heard back from them yet. But the Catholic Diocese of Colorado Springs sent us a statement from Bishop John Sheridan saying, quote, although we have a long way to go before the tragedy of legal abortion is ended, I am heartened to see that President Trump and his administration seem to take this issue seriously. Live in Colorado Springs, Katie Spencer, KRDO News, Channel 13. Katie, thank you.